Welcome to our second session about SWT3000 Teleprotection Signaling Technology. This session visualizes the operation of distance protection without and with teleprotection communication. Power system protection equipment such as Siemens SWT3000 is designed to selectively disconnect the defective part of a power transmission network in the event of faults in the high-voltage installations. These selective shutdowns must be performed in the shortest possible time. This animation illustrates what can happen without communications. There are three substations, numbered 1, 2, and 3. The high voltage lines are protected with distance protection. The power network failure occurs between substations 1 and 2. Watch what happens to the protection relays. The first relay detects an error. It is only able to locate it between substations 1 and 3. The second relay detects the error as well, and locates it between substations 2 and 1. The fourth relay locates the error between substations 3 and 1. Only the last relay that looks to the right from the second substation doesn't detect any network failure. Three of the four relays detect errors and initiate switching actions in the various switchgears. As a result, both power network sections are shut down. SWT3000 protection signaling improves this situation by introducing a higher level intelligence. Point-to-point -point connections are installed between two protection signaling systems in two substations. The situation is the same as before, a fault occurs between substations 1 and 2. The distance protection relays detect the same error scheme as before. This time the failure is communicated from the relay to the protection signaling system. The two corresponding protection signaling systems communicate with each other. Let's first look at the line between substations 2 and 3. Only the relay from substation 3 detects and reports an error to the assigned protection signaling equipment. The relay in substation 2 doesn't detect any fault. This information is also reported to the assigned protection signaling system. The communication between the two substations goes as follows, substation 2 tells substation 3 that the line is OK. The protection relay in substation 3 accepts the change of status from error to OK and doesn't initiate any switching. Both relays report a network error between substations 1 and 2 to the protection signaling systems. This means both substations 1 and 2 detected an error between each other. The result is sent back to the protection relays. Let's look at the line between substations 1 and 2. Both relays will initiate the deactivation of the faulty line section. As a result, the teleprotection signaling systems assures that the minimum network necessary is switched off by bringing in extra intelligence, yielding a higher availability of the total energy network. We hope we made you curious about our SWT3000 teleprotection signaling device. Please turn to the next session for more information.